All right, guys, what are we building today? What are we building? Show us. Whoa, is that the 12 foot skeleton? Yes, yeah. the 12 and 12. Skeleton 12, and what does he have? He's got LCD eyes, what do the eyes do? Blink. The eyes blink and he stares at us, let's see. Whoa. He stares at us. Let's go ahead and open the box. Whoa, let's take a look. Yeah, go ahead and help me open it. <laughs> What's this here? Okay, so it looks like even on the box, they give us some instructions. Yeah, it is a brand new one. Actually, this might be the only new one we get for a while because Home Depot that says that they're, or said that they're not gonna be bringing it back next year. My guess is they're gonna have something that's new and improved. That is sad, but guess what? They're probably gonna have a a 13 footer or something that's more modular. But yep, we got this. Give me a high five. You too, hon. Give me a high five. High five, sweetie. Good girl. Good job. That's right. So this is the 12 footer. And again, I don't know what they're gonna be doing next year. Apparently this is the last one. Get it early. We got this months ago because we knew that they were gonna sell out, right? All right, let's open it up. Whoa. What do we have here? It smells brand new. We're gonna build it inside since it's like 100 degrees outside. All right, and we're gonna start taking out the parts. All right, so let's take out this, this piece here. This is the base, right guys? And we gotta set the base down. That's right, we're gonna set it down where we have some space here. And it's gonna go right here. And we just gotta determine which is the front, which is the back. Go ahead and take that off, yep. I have to take that off. Here. Go ahead and take the other one off, sweetheart. Good job. I can't it. One easy way to determine the front and back is the back has these spots, these hooks. Yeah. That's, that's where, yeah, for the, um, for the wire that connects yeah. to the back. So let's go ahead and set this here and let's go ahead and get the bones and put them out to the side. And let's set the bones down and make sure everything's labeled. There's a giant hand. Got oh, you got me. You have a skeleton hat. That's right. So let's go ahead and set everything off to the side here. All right. No, I'm on it. All right, go ahead and set it down, hon. I got you. Wow. Let's go ahead and set down all the bones. The heavier parts, let me grab. All right, we got his hips. We'll go ahead and set that down. Just kind of best thing to do is always to just lay them all out to make it easier. All right, here we go. Okay, let's set everything off to the side. What do you got here, Lily? Okay, so we got the instructions. All right, set it on the ground, hon. Okay, good job. So Scott, where are we? The instructions are here and where else? On the box and then you can also find them on the built app. So, ooh, that's a heavy one. Wow. All right, there's the rib cage and everything. Let's go ahead and set that off to the side. All right. What you got there, hon? Okay, set it down. One of the arm bones. The foot. Now that's one big foot. Imagine getting a shoe for that. All right. Is there another foot? All right, let's set the feet down here. Go ahead and set the other foot down. Thank you. And the instructions again. Okay, what else we got? All right, look. And then we don't need the cardboard pieces. And then in here is the skeleton's head. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. That's his head. And then in here, we have the AC power adapter. <clears throat> Is that a spider? Uh-oh, he's dead. Wouldn't be Halloween without a spider, huh? Right? Yeah. All right, so we got the AC power adapter. We got the little tie-down hooks. And we got this piece here that connects to the spine. Scout, you got the head? All right, go ahead and set it down. This is fragile. It is fragile, so we'll open that up and we're gonna take a look and see. I think this is the back. All right, yeah, that might be the back and that's the front. Let me get something to open it, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and open up the box. One of the most important parts, the head. Whoa, can you take that out? Let's see it. Whoa, show it to me. 
Look at that. Tell me, what does he have? Describe him to me, honey. Eyes. Eyes. Nose. Nose. Eyes. And what are those? His teeth. Teeth. All right. Let's go ahead and set him down. <clears throat> All right. Set him down. All right. Baby's got the AC power for us. And we're going to set that down. All right, Scott, let's take a look. Okay, guys, what do we have? So we have pretty much all the parts out. There are the feet, there's the hips, there's the ribs, some of the bones, there's the skull, and all the hands. And then what else do we need, Scott? Right here. Two hands there. So the next thing we need to do is get these poles out of here. This is like the uh, part of the structure for the skeleton. So let's go ahead and get those out. And set those off to the side. I guess you can say you got it. Whoa. Keep pushing. So we got the spine out, right? Let's go ahead and pull the poles out and set those off to the side. Whoa. And as you'll notice, they'll have, um, they're gonna have some letters, right? I think, right? Yep, there they do. All right, set them right here on the ground. Oh, wow. Let's go ahead and get the other ones. And you're gonna notice they all have letters on them, right? Show me the letter. That one's what? That's an H, good job. And what do you got? That's a D. That's a D, that's right. All right, so just set all the pieces off to the side so that we know what we're doing when we start to assemble things and put it together. Right, Scotty? Yeah. Right, Lily? Mm -hmm. All right. So the base is set up facing forward. And again, you can always tell the back from where the hooks are. Okay, so first things first, what do we need to put on there? The feet, right? All right. So let's take a look at the instructions and let's get the feet uh, connected to the base here. All right, come on here. Let's put them on here. Uh-oh, whoa. All right, let me see. So we have C. Uh, that's gonna connect right there. <clears throat> and then we have B. So it goes literally the base is A, the right foot is B, and the left foot is C. So go ahead and put those on there, just like that. All right, look, the feet are already in, in place. Way to go, guys. Okay, we got the instructions all laid out here. And again, we just go through it, make sure we have everything, the, you know, go through the pieces A, B, and C, D, E, F, G, goes through all the alphabet and it kind of breaks it down. So you can either go off this, you can go off of the instructions on the box, or one, if you're more visual like me, you can get the Built app for free. It's for Android, uh, also for, for uh, iPhone. And it kind of gives you a visual reference step-by-step. Step. So we make sure we have all the pieces and then we just line everything up. All right. You getting excited? Mm -hmm. All right, bring the poles over here. These poles here. So we got them all set up. Let's bring them over here. That's G. All right, we're gonna start connecting the legs. All right, look at you, whoa. You can hold that entire bone by yourself? Wow. Okay, Scout, come here, we need D and E. All right, Scout, come on. Let's see, D is the right foot. Not yet, we need to put this guy on. Yeah. Scout, will you help me connect this? So D is the right side, and that just connects. You'll see the little connector on the actual foot, and that just lines up with the hole there. And you just push it down. Go ahead, Scout, and push it down for me. And it'll click in, boom. Okay, so we've got the right leg so far frame in place. Now we need to do the left. Let's grab, let's grab E, which is the left, and we're gonna do the same thing. Come on, put it here. And again, Scout's gonna push this down and line it up. Go ahead, let's do that. Give a little push. Good job, way to go. All right, starting to come together here. So we got the next pieces here. Yup, Lily's got G, and then we got F, so F and G. So F is the right and G. Come here, Lily. Let's go ahead and put the G on here. 
And it goes on this side? Yes. All right. So go ahead and lift it up. Uh, I can do it. You gonna do it? Yes. All right. All right, go ahead and slide that on there. Keep going. <gasps> Whoa, we gotta lock it in. All right. And Scout's doing the other side here. All right. Way to go. So we got his legs in, right? Give me a high five. All right, what do you think? Is it coming together? Yeah. All right, the next thing we need is H for both sides. Can you find one that says H, please? Not a bone, it's gonna be a pole. I think you found one. That one has an H, and that one over there has an H. So come on, let's bring those over here. Come on, and we're gonna connect H, and that's gonna go right on top of the legs here. I will do it. You will do it, of course. So let's get that on there. We gotta line up the hole, and then we just slide it on in just like that. That's what we do. That's what we do. All right, go ahead and push it down. Good job. And Scott's gonna do the same thing. Whoa. You excited? Good job. All right, now let's see what we need next. I'm not sure if we need that yet. Let's see, maybe. Okay, next we need I and J. What do we got here? This is J, what does that one say? I, all right. So J is gonna go in the back, just like so. Slides right on and it's gonna lock in kind of. And we're gonna do the same thing. For I, all right, make sure that goes in. Boom, just like that. Hey, Scout, can we make sure these are locked in place? That one feels pretty good. This one's still a little loose. We gotta make sure that little opening cut out kind of locks in. Okay, I think it's, gonna make sure we have no gaps there. There you go, wow, you did it. Thank you, Scout, are you a cat? Meow. Say meow. All right. Now, what do we need? Look what we got, look. Look, we already got them like six feet tall. We're halfway there, guys. We're almost there. All right, the other thing apparent is we're gonna need a ladder. So I went ahead and got that out because this is getting tall. All right, Scout, the next piece I'm gonna need is the hip bones. This piece, will you hand that to me or is that too heavy? You think you can handle it? <gasps> Whoa, look how strong you are. Let's see it. Whoa. So this guy is just gonna connect to those bottom pieces here. That is gonna go onto these legs and there's spots in the back with little openings and they're gonna connect right into the back of there. Just make sure it's in here. Right, Scott? Yeah. Right. Dad, you, you don't need the ladder because you, you're no, doing no, that. So now it's just gonna slide right into the back of yeah. this. And go ahead and get it. You see it, Scotty? Yeah. You see me? Yeah. Alright. It's on you. We're almost there. And it slides in. Wow, that's gonna be a giant. <laughs> there you go. Okay. No, They're almost done. Can you see it, honey? Okay. Bring it on over. Let's see. Almost. See how we're clicked into the back here? Here. Here you gotta make sure these things pop in so that it's nice and secure. So there we go. It's looking good. All right, we got our little instructions bear here. Are you looking at the instructions? So we're halfway there. Let's see. So we've got the legs and everything in place. We just put the little hip bone on. It's saying you could lay down and sit on the box. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna use a ladder. So we just need to attach K to L. And then once we have L on there, we need to attach the ribs and everything else is pretty self-explanatory. The arms, the hands, and then the head. So yeah, pretty easy. Okay, next we're gonna need L. L is right here, this one. All right, so that's gonna connect right up top here and it's gonna lock in and it's gonna lock into that. And yeah, should be as simple as that. I think that's where the bolt goes through. So let's go ahead and get that going. Get that set up and locked in place. All right, Lily just can't wait to get the skull on top, right, Lily? Mm -hmm. 
I know. Is that your favorite part? Yeah. Why is your Why is that your favorite part? Oh, because that's teeth. And probably because his eyes glow like that, right? Yeah. All right. Can you hear me the rib cage? All right. That's a heavy piece, so <laughs> look at that. <clears throat> that's going to connect from the bottom there. And if you see, it just slides right in. From the bottom, there's an opening. And then you also want to make sure you watch out for this little connector because that's going to need to connect to the piece that goes to the uh, hips up there. We're going to put this on or we need to connect it after? Yeah. Whoa, look how high up we are. <gasps> yeah. So we need to connect the wires down here, connected down there. And then we just need to line this thing up, make sure this locks in. And it kind of takes a little bit of wiggling, but eventually it'll click, click in and that'll make sure it's locked. There we go. See how that just popped out at the top? And then there's the cable where the head connects. So it's almost time for the arms and then we'll put the head on last. But yeah, let's get the arm pieces and look at the instructions, make sure we're putting on the right arms. All right, so we're gonna get the little toolkit pieces out. There's the wire that keeps it secure and it comes with a little Allen wrench too to tighten up the arms. So we need to get that out of there. We're gonna use that. That guy is gonna tighten up the arms slash elbows. Okay, so now that we've got that, now we need to install this guy, T. That's the... Uh, That's not a guy? Well, it's a, it's a piece. And this one, what do they call it? T is called the loop screw. And we need to attach that to the back. There's a little opening in the back of the spine. And that needs to attach there. That's where the steel cable is this guy that's going to connect to the back to keep him more secure okay so you'll see this little thing it says this hole is for loop screw assembly and that's that opening there so people don't be alarmed that is there for a reason put the loop screw in and when you feel it's secured you just got to twist that thing in until it's secured and tight all right, next I need that steel cable. Will you hand me that steel cable right there? Yeah. No, the, the stringy one. Yeah. That one, yep. Hand that to me. It does look glittery, but it doesn't rub off on you. So this cable is gonna uh, unravel. It's gonna slide through that loop screw there and go down and connect to the little hooks at the bottom. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, see it, Scout? This? All right, we're gonna slide that through this side and Scout's gonna grab the other end. Can you grab this piece over on this side? There's that side right there, hun. See it over here? Can you grab that piece, the end of it? Oh, you got the other side, okay. So I'll do this side and you do that side. And, all right, so let's see how it's gonna to connect to those loops at the bottom, right down here. See this side? And make sure the hooks connect to that one. Okay, so you're gonna connect that, good job. Perfect, okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to this loop here. And you may need to pull on it a little bit because it's already got some tension. But once you pull on it and give it some tightness there, uh, we'll get that done. So I'll go ahead and help bring it down. Scott's gonna loop it. Boom, we got it. All right, give me a high five, sweetie. Good job. Now it's all tight. Now, now we get the arms on there and then the head and then we just plug it in. <gasps> Yay! All right, Scott, bring me the one that says N. That's the right arm. That's, let me see it. It looks like a Z. It's actually an N. So again, when you put these on, don't over tighten these screws. If you do, that plastic will break. 
you know, then you'll have to go to the manufacturer or you'll have to get one 3D printed. It's gonna be a pain. So always just hand tighten them. So that's gonna slide on right there, just like that, slides in, and then you tighten it down. All right, so go ahead and slide that on. Easy peasy. And we'll tighten it down. And again, just hand tighten it. Don't wanna to go too crazy. You can kind of feel when it gets a little snug. And that's pretty good. Once it's on there, the arms are actually adjustable. So you can move them up and move them down, which is really cool. All right, next we need the hand that says P. That's the right hand. Okay, so we have this one, that's Q. So obviously that's gotta be P. There it is. All right. So that's just gonna connect here easily. It just connects right into there and you don't need bolts or screws or nothing. It just twists and locks on. Very simple. Just lines right up. And, and then twist on, boom. All right, look at that. We got the whole arm set up. I'm gonna uh, get the head after that. <laughs> Good. I call the it Elmo. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna get the special beautiful head. <laughs> yes. We got it. Here's the special head. That's the head. We don't want it. It's the last piece we put on there. Yeah, that's. And we don't want to break it, so it's set yeah, it down. All right, Scott, what are you doing there? <gasps> Whoa, Scott, you are scary. Is that you? Yeah. All right. That's your helmet? You scared me. That's gonna be the head we're gonna put on there, huh? Yeah, but I tricked you. You tricked me. All right, look, we're almost done. Okay, Scout, what are we doing to do next? We're gonna install the skull. All right, so with the skull, with the skull, we gotta install it with the AC power, we gotta plug that in, and just like the hands, it just twists on from the neck. You just gotta make sure when you twist it on, you don't pinch that cable, right, Scout? Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and get that up on the neck, and once that's connected, guess what? All we need to do is plug it in, and it's ready to go. installed, everything's ready to go. The last thing we need to do is plug in the AC power supply and then you see that there's a little on off switch, on and off, and you gotta plug in the AC power and that plugs in right here. So we get the AC power, plug that in and that's just gonna go right here. You can do that or if you undo this latch here, you could also install some batteries. Totally up to you, but I prefer AC power. It seems more reliable. So we're gonna go ahead, let's get this plugged in and let's give it a go. Ready, Scout? All right, let's see what happens. Okay, Scout, I got the AC power plugged in the back here and I need this to get plugged into the wall. Will you go ahead and plug that in? Plug it on in. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Whoa, he's alive. Look, Scout. Look, Lily. Look, Violet. What do you think? <gasps> Whoa! You see him? That guy is it's a big skeleton, huh? All right. Now, this doesn't do anything else besides look around, but we don't really need much more than that, do we? What do you guys think? Give me a high five. High five. All right. What do you think, huh? Say hello to him. <laughs> Give me a high five, little one. Good girl, love you. High five. All right. 
Yeah.